az oldalra. good this time some minor treatment and we show you some sites um, all around where we stayed before which was in a place called district five um, but anyway we show you around the video it's really nice there nice places to eat some nice baths with uh, thermal baths hot spas cold, yeah spas. and uh, last time we come um, it was the Christmas markets were on because it was the end of November and this is the end of October mm. so it's a different month we've been in April before and we've been in November and now we're in October so we'll take you along and show you and it's a bit warmer it's not warm it's similar warmer. similar temperature to the UK actually for this time of year last time we come as say November cold freezing cold. need layers and layers anyway so we wait for our ride and we'll take you along to the next bit. Right, it seems pretty dark in here. I don't know if there's any lights. Is there any lights? Hmm. Okay. So this is the hallway. I'll show you through there another time. But we're on the second floor of the Hotel President. Five. And this is our room. Now, we've got a double room. This is on the superior level. So we've got tea and coffee making facilities. Uh, we've got a wardrobe in here. And when you open the wardrobe, we've got a fridge. Obviously a mini bar. You pay for what you drink. Safe, slippers laundry and a double wardrobe with hangers so if anyone needs to see that what you get got a bit of air con going on up there i suppose in the summer when it's hot we're in october aren't we love so we're in october so it's not too bad so we haven't unpacked because we didn't want to lay our stuff out before i videoed and this is the bathroom so you've got a, a standard bath and a shower, all good stuff, and sink and hair dryer, and obviously the toilets around the corner, which you're not going to want to see. So basically, this is what a superior room is like in the hotel president, and. Uh, yeah, so we'll actually try and film a bit of breakfast and show you what breakfast is like and a bit of the hotel as we go round. Right, so I always promise to be honest about wherever we stayed. Um, okay, so the Hotel President is a really nice hotel, but there's a lot of things. We could have gone Airbnb and we booked this because we wanted the swimming pool and we've turned up and they said the swimming pool shut due to some problem with the sauna that's in the pool from last week. They offered us two vouchers for the um, local spa, 
But the point was we booked it because we wanted a swimming pool and a gym to be able to do every morning before breakfast. And we haven't got that. So another thing that's a little bugbear of mine, and obviously I want to be honest with you as much as possible, is if I'm paying, it's not because I'm tired, but if I'm paying for a really good hotel, I expect things um, to be precise. Now there was five hangers in the wardrobe. The wardrobe's massive, five hangers. Right, there's two of us. Okay, so where are we gonna put all our clothes? So we just put them all on shelves. No iron in the room. Anyway, they didn't promote that on their website about an iron, but I'm going to ask in reception because I didn't bring my travel iron. But this really got to me. When I opened the bin in the bathroom and I see someone's cotton bud in there from the previous person, that to me just spells that the bins haven't been emptied and I don't really want someone else's stuff in the bin when I come here. So, little bugbear. We're at St. Stephen's Bastilla, is that right? Bastilla. Bastilla. We can actually go up there. We haven't ventured up there, have we? We haven't. We haven't been inside. So if you come in November, this bit here is full of Christmas markets and Christmas trees, which is really pretty. We saw it uh, two years ago. Then you come out onto the square and this is it overnight. just making a walk back to our hotel and I thought I'd show you this on the way. Past St Stephen's Castle. Nice little restaurants here, look there's one there now all closing up, you can see yeah. that's all lit. Got their heaters out. Down the 
is easy. There's not many floors. There's two floors in total, and then a minus one. We don't know what the minus one is. stairs here. Now I think this is kind of a new bit of the hotel and then you go through into the old bit which to be honest looks a bit like a prison. It's nice and clean and tidy but it actually looks like a prison in this bit. Uh, we're in the other bit. It's also a bit smelly as well because it's enclosed, it's a bit of a drain smell for some reason. But the hotel itself, it's called Hotel Prepetitum. Really in a good location for what you're gonna to wanna to see in Budapest. So it's nice and clean and tidy. And we've got our card here, so this should let us in. Or not. So you've got Nice flavoured waters there. Entrance on the way in. Ah, uh, thank you. go through there. Oh, so apparently the breakfast is down this way. Coffee machine. Where would you like to sit? Bang on it, first thing in the morning. We've had our breakfast. The breakfast was nice actually in the hotel. Plenty to choose from, hot and cold, egg and bacon, uh, cheeses, hams, etc. Um, so we've come out from uh, where the hotel is, which is on a road called Hold U or U Tier. We are in the middle of the city, so it's quite busy. Plenty of cars coming down the road. This is a typical street um, in Budapest. Um, everything seems to be laid out quite formal, so it's on blocks and there's. Um, squares, square areas. Um, yeah, not dissimilar from London really. There's lots of older type buildings. Apparently a lot of these buildings are government buildings. What they use them for, I would never know. And then quite a few places where you can sit outside and eat. Ferrari garage through there. <laughs> Fancy treating yourself to some new wheels. The coffee house here. So typically you have uh, office blocks and then concessions below on the ground floor. Most of the concessions are yeah, coffee shops, pastry places, uh, nice restaurants. You'll see we was in one yesterday. Uh, I think Angela done some video. It's a very small restaurant. Um, only two tables in there. The guy cooks just behind the bar there. All fresh food. We had mushroom risotto, didn't we? And another pasta dish uh, with some spinach. All freshly made, it is my all really, really good. It is my favourite little um, Italian in Budapest at the moment. 
Yeah. Been in there a couple of times. Very small, very understated, not too expensive. So in that particular place, just for reference for you guys, we had uh, say a pasta dish, a risotto. This bit I shouldn't really tell you, we had three glasses of wine each. We weren't driving, so we could. Uh, yeah, three glasses of wine each. And they really loved Lunch. the Hungarian Sauvignon Blanc. It was beautiful, really nice. Yeah, so probably come to about 20 quid. Uh, I gave them equivalent of 25 pounds, so a tip. Uh, so that was quite good. The steak meal that we had last night, which will be on the video, um, uh, was it was good. Uh, it was an experience because the steak was on a hot plate or hot stone, and you sort of cooked it yourself at the table. Angela had a salad. Uh, it was pretty average, uh, but it was an experience. It was very very nice. So staff yeah. friendly and helpful. In there. Yeah, staff were friendly and helpful. The way that served us looked like Keanu Reeves, so for you <laughs> ladies that want to get in there and uh, to the Matrix. check him out. Yeah, it's nice and sunny. So we've walked just from the hotel, as you see. I suppose the camera's been on two or three minutes, me rabbiting on. Uh, this yeah, is just the, view. the view during the day for St. Stephen's Basilica. Uh, we got this last night on video. Nice found from here, outside. It's fairly bright. So this is obviously the main hub. Show you on a 360 view all the way round. So there you go. Um, we've been here a couple of times before, uh, more or less in the cold weather. So I think last time we come, it was end of November, and they had the Christmas markets doing the mulled wine, Christmas trees up near the Basilla here. Really, really nice time of year to come. Obviously, very festive. Everyone's in a good mood, having fun. It's cold. It is a lot colder. Uh, nice to come back. I've got a t-shirt on today. I've got tracky bottoms. Uh, it's about 17-ish degrees. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a really, really nice day. So back opposite, if you look there, the Basilla, you've got roads going off. As I say, it's very, very blocky. Um, roads going off here. This is really busy in the evening, so all these restaurants, every single corner has its own restaurant on. You have another turn in down that way. And that is the way that we come from. Just heading away from the Basilla. Uh, we haven't eaten here actually but there's a little restaurant we, we need to have a go even if we just grab a drink eh? what do you reckon yeah that'd be fun we'll have a go um, yeah so most of the tables got a swing for the ladies and a seat for the man so typical city nowadays there are bikes I'm not sure what the rules are, but I'm sure you can hire one of those bikes. There's also a few um, bike tours that we've spotted. We haven't looked online. Um, we did do one in Paris one time that was absolutely brilliant. About 15 of us went out on bikes. Um, yeah, I'm sure the same here. So uh, yeah, bike tours, look them up. Uh, so I recommend them. The, the one in Paris was really, really good. Um, so we are heading towards the water, believe it or not. Fashion Street Budapest. I do remember this street now. Again, this is another one of the streets that's all lit up. They'll drape all of the lights. So it more or less looks like Regent Street in London, if you're familiar. Uh, yeah, some upmarket shops along here. 
For all you people that are probably about as old as us. <laughs> I was about to say that, look. And see in the distance oh, there. Oh, that's a blast from the past. It's sea and A's. <laughs> oh, sea and A's still exists. <laughs> Big square. Nice restaurants up that way. So you've got uh, some nice authentic old buildings the buildings uh, well they look fairly original uh, so they're obviously intent in keeping the facade of the buildings uh, and then a lot of the concessions obviously on the lower levels are um, yeah modern so they're you know they're allowed to change the fascia to fit with the times uh, but the old buildings are kept quite authentic I'm just gonna go through this alleyway Angela yeah, just for I'm gonna go through here I don't know what's through there but um, whether it's some kind of an arcade but let's have a look so it looks like Oh, this is interesting. That looks like all handmade stuff, maybe. Very, very unusual, this place. A place up there selling skins. So you probably imagine places like this are original where they would have been, I don't know, markets in here and everybody selling their wares. Uh, yeah, they've kept it going. So. Come on then, let's see what's down here. Escalators are off. We're only being nosy. See what we can find. Underneath, it's got ham and cheese and mushrooms. 
And it's just literally a pizza that folded. So what's the normal traditional thing you do when you're hungry? Hey, if you're hungry. That's far. Not the really traditional thing to do, but hey ho, let's go with it, shall we? in there uh, you'll see on the GoPro there's I don't know, 10 12 ice sculptures lovely guy that runs it weren't overly busy because it's not the weekend if you want to do it it's good enjoy it yeah it was just so novel it was just so lovely and it's not overpriced we've been in the London one and it's quite expensive but you get two drinks you get a glass and it's about 10 pounds yeah. Just for the experience. Tenor. As I said, we've been in, they give you a beer, small beer or soft drink, that's what you want. Uh, chilled out for a while, then went into the ice bar, they give you a cocktail. I think there's a bit of alcohol in there. Um, <laughs> a bit of vodka. In a glass, as Andrew said, now let's say you can have the glass that's got ice bar, beauty the piss on the glass. Just, just a sweet experience. Um, tenor. Yeah. Ten or twelve quid each. Uh, yeah, that good for fun. one drink in a lot of places, like for one beer. So in a city, that's not a bad price. Not a bad price for a couple of Instagram shops, so eh? <laughs> as you do. So um, yeah, we've headed out there. You've probably seen a lot of this on the video earlier. The bridge I've got earlier on, it's all lit up now. It's one of the pubs that we went in earlier. Had a cheeky beer at lunchtime. Uh, it's a bit like a Weber Spoons type pub. Uh, and it's obviously rush hour, so it's about six o'clock, half past six, so it's quite busy. Um, I don't know what we can do now. What we can do now? Well, we said we'd stay out tonight, and then um, we're staying out tonight, and then we're going to go have an early night, nine, ten o'clock. So we're going to get up mega early and go to the spa in the morning. Oh yeah. So we got Shenzhen. I haven't pronounced it right. 
uh, Shenzhen Spa. Uh, we have been there before, we've got to go there back there. Um, yeah, you'll see on the video, I really recommend it. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's a brilliant day out, yeah. or half a day out. All the different pools, hot, cold, uh, saunas, steam rooms. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't know how much we can get on the video because there'll be other people in there, plus it'll be all steamy. So, um, yeah, that's tomorrow. But yeah, we're a nice morning now. Today's not finished yet. No. I mean, look at this street down here. It's so cool. Um, it's, well, you can see all the lights, all the restaurants. Uh, we're currently October 2021, so it's kind of after the pandemic. Uh, no one wearing masks. No social distancing. No worry. No stress. Just loving life. Like us guys. So these pods, yeah, they're not like the London ones, which are quite large. I reckon you get six people, maybe eight people in this, in each pod. It's quite fast. Oh my God, it is. It's a bit faster than... Uh, the London one, which takes about half an hour, I think I remember, to go round. Um, <gasps> wow. There we go. What do you reckon? <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh, it's so up high. It's a large building over the other side of the water. So it does three loops, fairly quick I suppose, you get photos and video and that. And then the fourth time it goes round then it stops at the top. So that gives you like loads of time, get your camera ready, uh, you're as high as it's going to go obviously and uh, yeah you get some really good photos and stuff and then it comes back round and off you jump. So we arrived back at our hotel president ready for an early night as we knew we had to get up early the next morning to go to the spa and we had done a lot of walking on this day. So follow along on our next adventures in Budapest for part two when we will show you some more sights and things in Budapest to do.